What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you or review my Project Salvo. Uh, I know I've done a review earlier in one of my, or the very first video on my account. I've done a review on my two paintball guns I got right now, but uh, I just wanted to do a review on my Project Salvo because it's the better one and I didn't really get to explain it that good. Well, okay. On this gun, it has a nice has a nice uh, bracket to hold on the hopper and you can just push a button right there and it flips down you can put it on take it off clean the inside right there and anything uh, it's got a six point stock and a six point stock and a foldable stock so it folds back and uh, right there I like it better like that when I'm shooting through my sight or my red dot sight just because I like it better um, on this one, I took off the original magazine and put on the a, a one from a different, my other gun. I just personally like it better with it, but if you're, or with the regular one, it, I think just looks too, it's, it's not long enough. I don't really like it with that, with that magazine on it. I just don't really, I like it better with this one because it looks more, it looks like a real gun instead. I don't think with the other magazine it does as much. But it's your choice. It doesn't up it's not up to me. Okay. On this red dot site, so it's, it's a pretty good site. It has a here I'll take it off real quick. Okay. Okay let's Okay, it's a good little sight. It has, you can see the red dot in there. It's a really ac it's really accurate for my gun. I have no complaints on it. I just I didn't want to spend one of the I didn't want to spend like sixty seventy dollars on a real paintball sight that is meant for paintball guns. So I just went to Dunham's and uh, Dunham's a local sports store and just went and bought an airsoft sight. It was ten bucks at Dunham's. It's not bad. It's actually a really good sight. If you want to put a sight on it, I recommend you get that one. It's cheap and it's a it's a reliable sight. Okay, let's see. On this, I have response trigger. I recently just put that on. I actually just yesterday I uh, fixed my gun because it wasn't shooting right and I put that on so it'll actually shoot and it's automatic now it's it's good the only thing is on, on right there on the adjustment on mine it doesn't always shoot automatic sometimes it shoots automatic but the other times it just shoots you have to keep on pulling the trigger it's in in my I think that it's okay it's not the best but it is it would be good if you wanted to put it on but yeah, and if you if you're gonna put a response trigger on it, you're gonna want to get an automatic hopper. And if mine, I got the Titman inside it has like a little white prong or white prong in it, to spin them. And uh, if you're gonna have a response trigger on it, you're gonna need one of these because with a firing rate that's like that's automatic, a normal hopper won't be able to keep up. You'll be just shooting. CO2 or air the whole time or for some of the shots too but yeah you need to get an automatic hopper and I got it on there it, it, I like this one better than any of the other ones because it's more of a sleek design and it's I just well for 50 bucks I like this one way better I wasn't going to spend $200 on a die rotor which even though I really want th those but it's a it's a good hopper. It's a it's reliable, and I have no complaints on it. It uh, it's made so whenever you stop shooting, there there's, and it there's like a little prong right through there, or little piece of uh, plastic in there that folds up and down. Whenever a ball goes through, it uh, starts going automatic or it starts just keep on spinning, keep on spinning them. But it only shoots when the CO2 or is going through the gun and coming out 
the end. It's coming out the end. It's it doesn't waste batteries as much, and on it there's a there's a button that you have to push. Turn it on and off. It's a it's a good hopper. I would recommend you get that if you're not gonna if you don't want to spend fifty or two hundred bucks on a really on a die rotor. I would just get that one if you're into woods ball and have one of these guns. If you're going to play speed ball, I would get one of the die rotors since it's kind of smaller and not as long, and it's it would be uh, it would be pretty good. It would be good for better for speed ball. This one's good for woods ball. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be making more. I'll be making some more videos, different stuff. Thanks. Rate, comment, and subscribe.